Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and today I'm making chicken parmesan sliders. Now these are quick and easy and the whole family is going to love them. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. So before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that there are changes coming to What's For Dinner Wednesday. I'm now going to call it What I'm Cooking Wednesday because I'd love to share more recipes with you than just dinner. Things like breakfast, school lunches, holiday treats, you name it. So if you're not already subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button to come back for more recipes. Okay, so back to those chicken parmesan sliders. This is the perfect recipe to throw together when you want a quick meal. It's perfect for lunch and for dinners as well. Now just yesterday, my family and I got home from a big family road trip. So it was really easy and convenient to just go to the store, get a few ingredients to make this dish. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with one store-bought rotisserie chicken that I've already removed from the bone, but I'm actually only gonna need about half of this chicken, so I'll save the rest for a different meal. Then I'm using one package of the King's Hawaiian bread. There are 12 rolls in here, but you can use any store-bought roll that you prefer. I'm also using some jarred pasta sauce, and I'm gonna end up eyeballing this, but I'm probably gonna use a couple tablespoons at least. Next up, I have the cheese. I'm using some sliced provolone cheese and some shredded Parmesan cheese. And then lastly, I have about one tablespoon of butter, and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning as well. I'm going to start by preheating my oven at 350 degrees. Next, I'm gonna take my Hawaiian rolls and very carefully slice them down the middle and try to cut them in half all at once. Now, definitely you could separate them out and cut them individually. It's totally up to you. Then I'm gonna take my casserole dish and give it a light coating of cooking spray just to make sure nothing sticks. I'm going to place the bottom portion of my Hawaiian rolls into my casserole dish. Next up is the pasta sauce, and it's important that you don't go overboard. If you put too much sauce, your sandwiches may turn out soggy, and you won't be able to pick them up. I'm just gonna use enough to coat the bread. Next, I'm adding a layer of provolone cheese. And now it's time for the chicken. Now, as a side note, you guys, I did remove a portion of the chicken, and I've set it aside for my husband who's gluten-free. I'm gonna serve his on a gluten-free bun, but you could also make this into a lettuce wrap if you'd like. Now I'm going to add my chicken right on top of the provolone cheese and just spread it out. The Parmesan cheese is up next, and you can use as much or as little as you prefer. Also, if you don't have the kind that comes in the tub, you could use Kraft. That's totally fine. So I'm just gonna sprinkle my Parmesan all over the chicken but I'm gonna make sure to reserve some to top our buns. Next, I'm going to top this with the other half of our buns and then melt my butter. When the butter is melted, you just wanna brush the tops of the buns with the butter and then sprinkle it with some Italian seasoning and some Parmesan cheese. Now I'm just gonna cover this whole dish with aluminum foil and bake for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to remove it from the oven and take off the foil. Then it's gonna go back in the oven for five more minutes or until it's slightly browned on the top. Mmm, all that cheese looks so good. And now it's time to dig in. I like to serve this with a simple salad. Okay friends, if you like this video, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Because like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm changing what's for dinner Wednesday into what I'm cooking Wednesday. So I could show you breakfast, lunch, dessert recipes, you name it. So if you have any requests, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.